all my dear students wishing you a very happy morning what happened sama so gloomy today what's the reason are you neighbor fans did you watch the full match yesterday yes from your face itself i can understand who are messi fans and who are neymar fans so when i ask both fans why you like the man why you like the player as much then you will give a clear cut answer is it and in that answer somewhere the comparison will come is it neymar is that much than messi messi is that much than neymar is it then when we compare to persons or to objects it's sure that we will use the comparison words is it so today we are going to compare the numbers you already studied about the comparison so we can check together how can we compare numbers ready so my dear students you have two numbers here how can we read these numbers yes according to the place value system you know this is 10000 place is it so 57634 Here fifty seven thousand three hundred and sixty four. Then how can we compare the numbers? First of all, we should we should yes count the digits. Is it one two three four five? Here one two three four five. Both possess five digits, so we cannot say that which one is greater because same number of digits. If we have one more digit here simply we can say that this is the greater number because number with more digits is the greater one obviously you know about this is it and from here can you say which is greater one of course this one because if the digits are same then we should check the digits from highest place value is it highest place value here we know the expanded form Found which place? Yes, ten thousand place. Is it fifty thousand plus? It's it's yes, seven thousand. As it students, it's seven thousand. Then plus this one, yes, six hundred. As it students, six hundred plus thirty plus four. We already know how to expand the number using place value. Is it? Here we can say that it's same way fifty thousand. There is no difference. Fifty thousand one same way seven thousand and the next digit it's three hundred. Is it three hundred? Then next one sixty. Is it student sixty? The last digit is four. One place value four. So we can expand using place value system, place value chart. Then we will get numbers, the expanded form like this. Now you can say which is greater? Yes, this one because fifty thousand and seven thousand, both places are same for these two numbers. Then we should check the next place. It's six hundred. It's three hundred. Which is greater? Yes, obviously six hundred. Is greater than three hundred, so we can say that the first number is greater than second number. Is it simple? Yes. Now, my dears, you have three numbers. You have to compare the numbers. Then, which is the least number, smallest number? Can you say? First of all, we should count the digits. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? How many digits? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here also six. Is it so? Six digits. Here also six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. So six digits. So we cannot compare from counting the digits. So we should check the place value. So the first place value. Here it is two, two lakh. Is it four lakh, three lakh? Which is smaller? Yes, from the first place value itself, we can say that this number is smaller. Is, is it right? Yes. So we can write it as this is smaller than which one? This one? No. Next small number is yes, this one. So we can write it as 
smaller than is it yes smaller than it's right then same way we can write as this number is smaller than this one is it students yes this is smaller than what's the last number four is it right yes can you remember the word the arrangement of numbers like this that is smaller to smaller to bigger smallest number to biggest number what's the arrangement is called yes very good it's called ascending yes. ascending order so when we compare the numbers and arranging from smaller to bigger it's called ascending then what is the opposite of ascending that is arrangement from bigger to smaller bigger to smaller yes it's descending is it it's called descending so you know well about the ascending and descending orders as it students then you have how many digits 1 2 3 4 5 five digits here then can you write a smallest and a greatest number using these digits yes ascending order of digits will give smallest number yes ascending order that is smallest to bigger 1 So next digit, yes, four, six, nine. Is it? This is the ascending arrangement, ascending order. Then what is the descending order? Nine, six, four, two, one. Is it? So how we can read ones, tens, hundreds. One stands hundreds. By arranging ascending and descending orders, we can form smallest and greatest for a given set of digits. Is it? Then here I arrange the numbers according to the given system of digits without repeating. Is it? Without repeating. When we repeating digits, when we repeating digits, how can we form a smaller one? Which digit we should repeat? Yes, it's one. Is it? Is it right? And in here, yes, nine. We should repeat the small digit. Is it small digit from the given system to get a smaller one? We should repeat the greater digit from the given set to get a greater number. When we ask it to form greater and smaller, it repetition. Is it right? Yes. Then you already know about two terms, successor and predecessor. You know what is successor? What's predecessor? Now it's activity time. Are you ready? Then you can see two boxes here. One key box, one gift box. Which one you want? Obviously, gift box. So to get the gift, you should open the key box first. So touch the key box. Yes. What can you see the? You can see digits from zero to nine. Is it? Then using any four digits, it's up to you. So take any four digits, then form smallest and greatest four-digit number. Got it? So this is without repetition. Is it? Then. With repetition, you can form a five-digit smallest and greatest number. You know how to form smallest and greatest with repetition, is it? Then, now you find out the successor and predecessor of these numbers. So, to complete these activities, you should find out what is successor and what is predecessor. So, complete these all activities. Then send the answer to me. At that time, I will send you a special gift. So after watching this video, complete your activities as fast as you can. Send the answers to me. I will give you the gift. Catch you at the easiest time to discuss more problems regarding all these topics. Thank you.